All right, let me get much of this as I possibly can. The 13th chapter, viewers, mm -hmm. of the book of Revelation. I want to work on the mark of the beast. Now, the love of money, the holy book says, is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Oh. And the preachers now are teaching this prosperity plan which is mentally and emo emotionally, psychologically programming people to love money. That's right. So therefore, when the mark of the beast arrives and you already love money, you won't have it in you to turn away from the mark because you're going to be in love money. with the money. money. Because money and the love of it mm -hmm. plays a major role within the mark of the beast. Right. Viewers, I want you to hear me and understand what I said. Mm -hmm. The love of money. For the love of money. Listen at this. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 10. All right, let's start off with the book of Timothy. Then we'll itemize this in the book of Revelation. Follow me and get me. 1 Timothy chapter 6, we're at verse 10. Yes. For the love of money is the root of all it evil. It didn't say to have money is the root of all evil. The love of money. To love it, because you shouldn't love nothing more than God. That's right. When a person loves money, brother, they are still lie, cheat, rob, do anything that they possibly can do to get it. That's right. The Holy Book says, For the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root, the source of all evil. Which, while, which while some coveted Some after, have desired it. They have erred from the faith. They have erred from the belief of God. And pierced themselves through with and many sorrows. And they have sorrows. pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God. What should we do? Flee these things. Oh. Amen. Flee from the love of money. Mm-hmm. Whatever money God bless you with, do right by it. That's right. Do righteous by it. That's right. Do godly by it. Mm -hmm. But uh, don't love it. Right. When you start loving it, it will replace your love for God. That's, That's right. why these preachers that you see on television, on social media, every message they got is centered around uh, how much money you can give the Lord. In other words, your blessing hang on your pocketbook right. your blessing don't hang on no pocketbook your blessing hang on your submission and your obedience to God that's right if I don't have a dime right. I still can get God yeah that's right I, I don't need money to be saved I need God to be saved amen I don't need a dollar to be right I need God to be right that's right I don't need a dollar to make the first resurrection amen. I need to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and follow the teaching of the apostles. That's what get me into the first resurrection. That's right. Amen. I can be poor yeah. and don't have a roof over my head. Yeah. Lord, take God and don't have clothes on my back and still be rich. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And hallelujah. Glory to God. Still be rich. Amen. Someone said, how was that, Pastor Jennings? You show me anything in the world that's more valuable than God's word. Yeah. And so the apostle Paul said, we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. I want the world to understand that the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God is the most precious, the most valuable thing in the world today. And you can have it free. That's right. <laughs> Ah, that's right. Think of it. You can have it free. 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 Amen. Someone said, I don't have to pay for it. Well, it's a little cost. A little cost. <laughs> well, what do I got to give? Yourself. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Hallelujah. You have to give yourself. Yeah. Until the holy book says, present your body. Living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. All right, let's go to the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. Where let's itemize Amen. as much of this as we possibly can, what time we have. Follow me and get me. Reve All right. Revelation chapter 13, we're at verse 1. Yes. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Now, I want you to get this. The Apostle John. 
Still upon the sands of the sea was on the Isle of Patmos. That's right. History, not the Bible. Theology, not the Bible. That's right. History and theology says John died in a pot of boiling oil, 96 A.D. Hmm. The Bible ain't never said it. No. The Bible ain't never said how he died. The Bible ain't never said what year he died. No. All I know, he is dead. That's right. All right. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw beasts rise up out of the sea. Yeah. Having seven heads and ten horns. Uh -huh. And upon his horns ten crowns. Ten crowns. And upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Yes. I see kingdoms and kings and them that are in authority. But notice it was upon the head of the beast. Seven heads. Seven heads. And ten horns. Ten horns. And upon his horns ten crowns. That lets you know that these kingdoms will submit to the beast. That's right. All right. And upon his heads the name of blasphemy. The name of blasphemy. blasphemy. Now, Satan mm -hmm. have blasphemed God oh, yeah. since the devil bent the devil. <laughs> That's right. And the devil have got into human family and made them verbally blaspheme God. That's right. And spiritually blaspheme God. That's right. And physically blaspheme God. Oh, yeah. And religiously blaspheme God. That's right. Now, let's hold and let's enlarge on the word Blaspheme. Blaspheme. Now, viewers, I want to educate you. Mm -hmm. There are two kinds of blasphemy. That's right. You see, I have to itemize the scriptures. We just can't read and move on. That's right. There are two kinds mm -hmm. of blasphemy. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12. One, you can be forgiven for. That's right. The other, you can't be forgiven for. And the other, you can be forgiven for if you done it ignorantly. That's right. All right, I want you to hear me. Let's skip this. First in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, we'll start at verse 31. Follow me. Wherefore I say unto you. I say to you. All manner of sin and blasphemy. All manner of sin and blasphemy. Shall be forgiven unto me. Shall be forgiven. You know, when you got a lawyer, or should I say, a preacher or a judge. Mm -hmm that agree that two men can get married and two women can get married. Right. That's blasphemy. Blasphemy. When you go to a same-sex wedding, yeah. you are going to a blasphemy ceremony. That's right. Because God said he made a woman for the man. That's right. Amen. Get this. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. All right. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. The blaspheme against the Spirit. Hold it. Amen. Notice the Bible pointing out a nature. That's right. The nature of God is Spirit, and the Spirit of God is the Holy Ghost. Holy, Ghost. Holy mean the characteristics of God. Mm -hmm. Ghost mean the nature of God. That's why in John 4.24, mm -hmm. the Bible says God is a spirit. That's what right. kind of spirit is God? He is the Holy Spirit, That's right. the Holy Ghost. So the characteristics of God, he's a holy God, and the nature of God is spirit mm -hmm. or ghost, divine, perpetual, everlasting, eternal, immortal. That's right. Amen. I want to itemize this as we go along. Come on, William. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto me. The blaspheme against God. That's right. That's right. The Spirit of God shall not, not be forgiven unto me. It won't be forgiven. That's right. Won't be forgiven. Mm -hmm. It won't be forgiven. Shall not be forgiven unto men. Yes. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man. Now, that's another nature. The flesh and blood that Mary birth. That's right. That's not the Holy Ghost. For the Holy Ghost is not the Son of no man. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. The Holy Ghost is not the Son of no man. That's right. The Son of God, the Messiah, the man Christ Jesus. Yeah. He, yeah. which was the mediator. The Bible says, mm -hmm. what? Whosoever speaketh whosoever a word, speak a word against the Son of Man, against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. It will be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy you Ghost, you speak against the divine nature, the Spirit of God, 
It shall not be forgiven. Won't him. be forgiven you. Neither in this world. It won't be forgiven here. Neither in the world to come. Nor the world to come. Now, let me enlarge on God. Yeah. And when you blaspheme against him ignorantly. In the book of First I want to show you what Paul did because Paul, he wasn't always saved. That's right. Paul wasn't always an apostle. That's right. Paul wasn't always born again with mm -hmm. no baptism. Yeah. He didn't always have the Holy Ghost neither. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you where he, he was a terrible fella. Amen. Before God saved him. Listen at this. 1 Timothy chapter 1 and at verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. 1 Timothy chapter 1, we're at the 13th verse. Yes. Who was before a blasphemer. Hey, wait a minute. You better go up to verse 12. At verse 12. Yes. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank. Amen. Paul reflecting. That's right. I'm thankful to Christ Jesus our Lord. Who hath enabled me. Who hath enabled me. For that he counted me he faithful. He counted me faithful. You better give me chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter 1, we're at verse 12. He counted me faithful. Putting me into the ministry. You see, it takes God to make a preacher. That's right. You see who he credit for making him a preacher of yours? And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank Christ Jesus. Our Lord. Wait a minute. Who is Christ Jesus? Our Lord. Right then he preached he was God. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Right then Paul preached that he's God. That's right. So I said, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. He didn't say that. Mm -hmm. He said, I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord. Our Give me Lord. Psalms. What Psalms 100? Chapter and 100. Let's find out who is the Lord. Psalms 100 and at verse 3. Says what? Know ye that the Lord. Know ye that the Lord. He is God. He is who? He is God. And what the Apostle Paul said? And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord. And what did David say? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. So when I said, thank God, Amen. I'm saying, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's right. When I said, thank God, That's I right. say, I, I, I'm saying, thank you, Jehovah. That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, Amen. All right, go back to where you were, son. I just have to strike it out piece by piece because Amen. every time you read, I see something. Amen. Hey, man, I got to straighten it out. I want to make sure there's not a wrinkle and nobody understanding. That's I have right. to press as I go along That's so right. you can have a clear, detailed understanding of the Amen. book of truth. Amen. All right, William. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 1, we're at verse 12. Yes, let's finish up the blaspheme. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me Yes. For that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Uh -huh. Who was before. Who, who was before? A blasphemer. He, now, before he became a minister in the Lord Jesus Christ, right. standing up for the way of holiness, mm -hmm. what was it? Who was before a blasphemer. He was terrible. Amen. Oh, yes, Brother Paul was terrible. Oh, yeah. He was a blasphemer. And a persecutor. He was a persecutor. He persecuted the church. That's right. Them that was already baptized before him. In the name of Jesus Christ, them that already had the Holy Ghost when he didn't have it. Amen. Paul was a terrible fellow. Oh, yeah. And Who was before a blasphemer. He was a blasphemer. And a persecutor. He was a persecutor. And injurious. Injurious. That means he beat you up. That's right. He injured you, brother. That's right. That's Amen. Right. In fact, in one place, Paul testified what damage he done to you. Mm -hmm. He let you know he'll go into your house hailing, hailing. men and women. Do you know what that means? That means when Paul came in your house, he'll grab your wife, your mom, and your daughter and throw her somewhere else. <laughs> and right. hailing men and women and throw your husband somewhere else. Injurious. Paul was rough. That's right. He was an injurious. He'll injurious. injure you. Mm -hmm. I mean, if need be, he'll beat you and kick you and stomp you. Oh, yeah. He'll injure you That's by right. any means necessary. That's right. Uh -huh. But I obtained mercy. What? But I obtained mercy. God had mercy on him when he was out there wild like oh, a yeah. fool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. Wait a minute. Paul was blaspheming and was the injurious and was the persecutor. Mm -hmm. And what stage he was doing this in? I, I did it ignorantly. I did it how? Ignorantly. I did not know no better. In unbelief. So, viewers, so if you are ignorant, ignorant. to the will of God mm -hmm. and blaspheme like mm -hmm. Brother Paul, That's right. you can be forgiven. That's when right. you don't know what you're doing because you're ignorant to it. And not only ignorant, but ignorant and an unbeliever. That's right. All right, let's go back to the book of Revelation now. Back in Revelation 13 <coughs> and at verse 1. This is, it, it is already good. Come on, William. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, uh -huh. and, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Yes. And the beast which I saw. The beast which I saw. Was like unto a leopard. All right, hold it. Amen. If you remember, I often said 
in the study of Egyptology. Mm -hmm. The Egyptians left their history not by using the type of alphabet that we have now, mm -hmm. but they used pictures, symbol, images, right. hieroglyphics that gave you the detailed history of the Egyptians. That's right. The Bible do the same thing. That's the right. Bible has spiritual hieroglyphics. Yeah. In other words, let me make an example. The Bible talk about Satan with this tail through, drew a third part of the stars out of heaven. And if you don't know what tail mean, right then you're gonna get a cartoon picture in your head of somebody with skin tight red tights, horns, and the little tail with an arrow at the end <laughs> With a pitchfork like he in a play, <laughs> ripping his tail around. That's uh -uh. right. That's the Bible right. uses a symbolic term. Symbolic. That's right. So I have to come along and see what do tail mean mm -hmm. when they talk about the devil. In the book of Isaiah chapter 9. Follow me and hear me. Isaiah chapter 9, we're at verse 15. All right, let's the go to school. Isaiah 9 and verse come 15. Come on, son. The ancient and honorable. The ancient and honorable. He is the head. God is the head. And the prophet that teacheth lies. The prophet or the messenger that teach lies. He is the tale. He is the tale. So Satan's tale mm -hmm. wasn't in back of him. No. Satan's tale was his word. That's right. Was his mouth. That's right. He seduced. He tricked. He conned with this speech. Amen. So that's the tale of the devil. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to the book of Revelation again, chapter 13. Listen. Back in Revelation 13 and verse 2. Yes. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. It was like. Notice he didn't say it was a leopard. Like it unto a leopard. It was like a leopard. Now the apostle John is describing the characteristics of the beast. That's right. Like a leopard. That's if right. you notice the nature of a leopard is swift. Yeah. It's strong. Mm -hmm. And it stalks his prey yeah. before it pounces upon his prey. That's right. Uh -huh. And his feet. Notice. He was like a leopard but his feet. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Oh. But his feet was like the feet of a, bear, of a bear, showing you the strength of the beast. That's right. Uh -huh. And his mouth. And his mouth. As the mouth of a lion. Look at here. Amen. Look like a leopard. And his mouth as the mouth. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Look like a leopard. That's right. A bear. Feet like a bear. That's right. And, his, and mouth, his mouth. As the mouth of a lion. As the mouth of a lion, man, he, when he speak. He speak with authority. That's right. But notice. That's right. All the attributes that he just read mm -hmm. is talking about the animal world. That's right. Leopard. Leopard. Bear. Bear. Lion. 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 Mm -hmm. Leopard. Bear. Lion. Those right. things that are unclean. That's right. That's, huh? right. That's right. Those things that are unclean. That's not right. only are they unclean, mm -hmm. but a leopard and a bear mm -hmm. and a lion, all three are carnivores. That's right. Flesh eaters. That's right. Hallelujah to the great God of heaven. That's right. And that's what this beast will do. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's not a beast as an animal. But it is a man that's right. that has the spirit of the devil because the devil is a beast. Yeah. But the actions of Satan fall in the variety of characteristics of the beasts of the field or the animals in the earth. That's right. Uh -huh. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Like a leopard. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Strength of a bear. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Speak with authority. And the dragon gave him his power. What? And the dragon gave him his power. I told you. Amen. The dragon gave him his power. Gave the beast his power. And he Hold it. Mm -hmm. The dragon is the devil. That's right. The dragon is Satan. That's the right. dragon is Lucifer. Yeah. And the dragon gave the beast or gave the man his power. His power his in power. order for the mark of the beast, which is the mark of Satan. Mm. That's right. To go out. That's right. The mark got to have a force behind it. That's right. The man on his own cannot do the work on his own. That's right. So the man got the power. From the devil. And the dragon and gave the him his power. the devil gave it to the man. That's right. Willingly. That's right. Mm. I want to say, why is that, Pastor Jennings? Even the mark of the beast 
had this role to play in prophecy. That's right. Amen. Because the prophets talk about him in Daniel. Mm -hmm. The prophets talk about him in the book of Ezekiel. Yeah. Thank God. And uh, here is the devil gave his power That's right. to the beast. And the dragon gave him his power uh -huh. and his seat. Now hold it. I want everybody to get this. Yeah. If Satan gave the power to the beast, mm -hmm. then that man would take on the cunningness, the craftiness, the characteristics, the attributes, and the behavior, and the subtlety mm. of the beast. That's right. In order for him to function properly with the power of the beast, he got to take on the characteristics of the beast. That's right. Uh -huh. And the dragon gave him his power. The dragon gave him his power. And his seat. And his seat. And great authority. Wait a minute. Amen. Gave him his power. And his seat. Gave him his seat. And great authority. Gave him authority. That's right. Now he will have authority in the earth. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jenner, what do it mean? Gave him his seat. Jeez. If 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 you're gonna give him his seat, mm -hmm. where's the devil kingdom? You're on it. No, that's right. That's right. Oh yeah. You're on the devil's kingdom. Oh yes. Give me the first. 2 Corinthians. Mm, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Chapter 4. And Hallelujah. begin reading at verse Bless 1. Bless the name of God. Amen. This is so beautifully outlined. Mm. The world. That's right. Is the devil's kingdom. First, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and at verse 4. You better, you better begin at verse 1. Therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy. We faint not. We faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness. Nor handling, handling the word of God deceitfully. But by manifestation, but by of, manifestation of the truth. But by manifestation of the truth commending our to every man conscience in the sight of God. What happened, Williams? But, but if our gospel be if hid, our gospel be hid, oh, God, hallelujah. if you can't see what the apostle is preaching, it if is you can't see them, what the mm -hmm. truth of God is preaching, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world, what is Satan called? The God of this world. Wait a minute, what is Satan called and what is his domain? The God of this world. The God, the God of this world, what did he do to the human race? Has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Wait a minute. Amen. When you are unbeliever, what state are you in? Has blinded the minds of them which believe not. When you are unbeliever, what condition are you in? Has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Glory to God. Viewers. And you may wonder why a lot of times when I'm preaching by God's permission, mm. I laugh and smile. Mm. It's a beautiful thing when you're not blind. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. It's a be Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Oh, right. yes. Amen. Because, amen, especially when you can look back oh, yeah. when you were blind. Oh, yes. Couldn't see. Couldn't see. Thank God it was following every, any old sheep. Watered down man made religion. That's right. That came out of hell. That's right. Now, Hallelujah. I got a chance. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. I got a chance. Hallelujah. I got a chance. Hallelujah. Thank God to do this thing right. That's right. To do it God's way. That's right. To do it on Bible order. Hallelujah. To do it on According to the scripture. Amen. I, I, I got a chance God now. Is, that's right. Amen. By my eyes. Amen. Amen. Thank God. I believe it is written. Amen. Blessed are your eyes. For they see. For they see. For they see. And I'm, I'm, it's a beautiful thing. Amen. All right. Go back to Corinthians. What he said. Come on, son. Finish where you are. In whom the God of this world. In whom blinded, the God of this world. Blinded, blinded, the, blinded minds the minds of them which believe not. Of them that believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel Lest of the Christ. the light of the glorious. What, what, wait a minute. What is the light, Williams? The glorious gospel of Christ. No, the glorious gospel of passage. Yeah, the, the glorious gospel of Christ. You can't credit me with this. So you that get mad, you get mad with Christ. That's the glorious right. gospel of Christ. Who is the image of God? Wait a minute. Hmm. What was Christ? The image of God. I told you. That's right. God's image was God's form. That's right. God's form was God's shape. Amen. God's shape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was God's fashion. Hallelujah. God's fashion was God's figure. Amen. God's figure was God's son. Hallelujah. God's son was God's body. Hallelujah. God's Hallelujah. body Hallelujah. was begotten by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Made in the house of David. Hallelujah. Formed in the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. And came forth. From the womb of Mary. That's the light. Yeah. Amen. Glory to 
God, glory to God. Let's the light. Let's the light of the glorious gospel Hallelujah. of Christ. Glory. Hallelujah, glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Of the glorious gospel, gospel of Christ, of Christ, who is the image of God. Christ, the is image, God image that should shine unto them. That's who the Son of God was. That's right. The Son of God was God image. That's right. The image, image was not God. God. Amen. The shape was not God. That's right. The form was not God. Amen. And the image of God did not come from heaven. That's right. The image was made that's right in the likeness of men that's right and it was made right. in the house of david Amen. in the tribe of judah what came from heaven then pastor Janus? Amen. spirit spirit that's right is that bible oh yes oh yeah gabriel told mary the oh, power that's right. of the highest shall, come upon thee. shall overshadow, overshadow thee, thee. Yeah? That's right. the holy ghost shall come upon thee. come up Upon thee. Come upon thee. Do you hear what he said? That's right. In the first chapter of the book of Luke, if you will. In Luke chapter 1. Come on, son. Begin at verse 30 fast. At verse 30. Come on. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary. The angel said unto her, Fear not. For thou hast found favor with you God. You found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb thou and bring conceive. forth a son. Wait a minute. Where the son going to come from? Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And do what? And bring forth a son. The son going to come from where? In thy womb. Thou the shalt conceive in thy womb. you going to conceive what? In the, and and, and it's going to come from where? In thy womb. There and ain't no flesh and blood body came from heaven. No. It ain't no begotten son of God came down from heaven. No, no. Spirit came from heaven. That's right. And made that begotten son. That's right. And it was begotten here on earth. Yeah. And it was done the will of God here on earth. That's right. And was put to death here on earth That's as right. a sacrifice for us. That's right. Uh -huh. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son. And bring forth a man child. And shalt call his you name call Jesus. His name Jesus. He shall be he great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. Uh -huh. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Yes. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom. Mary didn't understand that it then Gabriel had to go further and break it down. Then said Mary unto the angel, what? How shall this be? How can okay, this going to be? I don't know no man. And I'm, the angel I'm answered and virgin, said unto her, I'm a clean woman. I'm not out there cutting the devil. I, that's right. I stayed to myself and you know, right. I'm all chasing clean. That's and right. here you come talking about I'm going to get pregnant. What's the matter with you? How shall this be? How is this going to take place? Seeing I know not a man. I don't know. Wait a minute. Amen. Amen. Right then, that lets you know mm -hmm. that the Son of God yeah. will be born of a woman. That's right. So you blind people that believe that a begotten son, a begotten man came from heaven. He mm. came down man. Yeah. He got a merry body and turned to a baby. Then he came out and grew back up to a man again. That's right. Not only are you delusional, you are fool. That's a fool. And a good fool. <laughs> That's right. Listen. Then said Mary unto the angel. Then said Mary to the angel. How shall this be? How is this going to be? Seeing I know not a man. I don't know no man. And the angel answered and said unto her. You see here it is. God gave Gabriel the understanding. That's right. Enough to present it to Mary. Because mm -hmm. God knew Mary didn't see this stuff. No. God knew that Mary was not going to see it. So mm -hmm. he gave the information to Gabriel and had Gabriel all ready. And the angel and all answered. ready to answer. That's had right. it all ready. Mm -hmm. Amen. That way Gabriel won't be stuck and say, well, just a minute. I got to go back up and see what the Lord said. How, how this <laughs> going to be. No, it ain't happened. Oh, no. All right. And the angel answered and said unto her. What is it? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. The comforter. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, the shall, Holy God, shall come upon thee. He is going to come upon you. And the power of the highest. Now, here's another title that he addressed, the same God. The power of the highest. First, he called him the Holy Ghost. That's right. Then he called him the power. Of the highest. Of the highest. Let you know there is no power higher than God. Shall overshadow thee. It's going to overshadow thee. Therefore also. And therefore also. That holy thing. And now, the Holy mm. Ghost. With that holy make, thing. A holy thing. Which shall be born of thee. But the holy thing is going to be born of you. Shall be called the son of God. 
He shall be called what? Shall be called the Son of God. And how it gonna come forth? And the angel answered, How it gonna come forth? It shall be born. And, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. It shall womb. be born of thee. That's right. It shall be born. That's right. And then what he said? Amen. That holy thing which shall be born. And the, therefore also that holy thing which shall be born. 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 Amen. Born. That's you right. didn't say that holy thing that's going to come from heaven? No. Uh-uh. No, no. There ain't no holy baby come from heaven. Amen. A baby, Mary baby. Mm. So I said, did Jesus come from heaven? Yes. Yes. Did the baby come from heaven? No. No. <laughs> Right. I know that's too, that's, that's just too deep for you, Colonel minded folk. That's right. Well, how is Jesus going to come from heaven? And yet the baby didn't come from heaven. That's right. Because Jesus Christ is God. Right. The spirit of Christ came from heaven. That's right. And created that body. Then the body took on the name of the spirit that made it. That's right. And when it came forth, he testified and said, I come. In my father's name. In my father's name. That's right. Huh? That's right. That holy thing. That shall be born of thee. Shall be born. Shall be called. Born. Amen. Born. Born. Anybody tell you a flesh and blood son came from heaven? They blaspheme. That's right. Against the son of man. That's right. Jesus came from heaven. Yeah. But the son flesh and blood didn't. In fact, the title son came from heaven. That's right. Because Gabriel brought it. That's right. Not only did the title come from heaven, but the name, the name. of Jesus came from heaven. That's right. The spirit came down. The name came down. Right. The title came down. But the nature didn't come down. That's it. The That's nature it. was born. That, therefore, and then also, the nature inherited the name, the power, and the function. That's right. Uh -huh. Therefore also that holy thing that shall be holy born thing. of thee. Amen. It shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of the God. The Son of God. All right, let's go back to Revelation. Oh, this, this is so beautifully outlined. Amen. Amen. That's why sometimes it takes me so long on one sentence yeah. because I start seeing a whole lot. Come on, Williams. Back, back in Revelation 13, still in verse 2. All right. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Like a leopard. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Of a bear. And his mouth as the mouth of, of a, a lion. lion. And the dragon gave him his power. Dragon gave him his power. You know, you got to be awful wicked for awful. the devil to think enough of you to give you his power. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. And his seat and great authority. His seat Mm -hmm. The devil gave him also his seat and great authority so and he I can function here on the earth. That's right. So he can function right here on the earth. That's right. The mark of the beast will be given out here on the earth. Mm -hmm. And that's why the mark of the beast will be in the man who had the nature or the characteristics or the spirit of the beast or the spirit of Satan right. so he can function. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you look at the characteristics of it, he inherits Satan's character. Yeah. He also had the nature of a leopard, leopard, meaning he will stalk the human family. He will have the nature uh, of a, a bear. bear. His feet bear. was like a bear, mm -hmm. meaning he'll be able to rule and take over the human family. Right. He also will have the characteristics of a lion in his right. mouth, mm -hmm. meaning his speech will be very influential because he will speak with such great authority. Notice mm -hmm. why speaking like a lion in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Satan also is called a lion. In First Timothy chapter, First Peter. First Peter chapter 5 and at verse 8. The Bible says, Be sober. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary. Be diligent. Mm -hmm. Because your adversary. The devil. The, the adversary, the who? Because your adversary, the devil. The devil. As a roaring lion. As a roaring lion. Walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Notice, he didn't say your adversary just as a lion. No, roaring. Roaring. Lion. Roaring. Speaking. That's right. Making a sound. That's right. With his mouth. That's right. And brother, he's roaring too. And brother, he, he's roaring and people are running to him. Oh, yeah. All right, go back to Revelation, son, real quick. Back in Revelation 13, now in verse 3. Uh -huh. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. Now, I saw the wound. And I saw one of his heads. One of his heads. As it were wounded to death. As it were as wounded it to death. To death. And his deadly wound was healed. And his deadly wound was, was healed. healed, meaning he recuperated. Mm -hmm. He came back. That's right. Uh -huh. And all the world wondered after the beast. Wait a minute. Amen. How much of the world? All the world wondered after the beast. I'm telling you, viewers. Amen. 
The world now has gone after the devil. Oh, yeah. But a day is coming that the world will go after the devil more. More. That's right. Than <laughs> they are now. That's right. Thank God you better grab hold of the way of holiness and don't ever let it go. Oh, yes. Thank God you better hold on to it and let it hold on to you oh, that yeah. you may be able to escape the judgment of God to come. That's right. Turn loose the man made religion. That's right. Turn loose this man made foolishness and get a hold of the real thing. Don't just repent and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and then you go back to some fake false religion right. that come out of hell. That's right. You will still go to hell even if you're baptized right. Oh, yeah. My God, after you obey Acts 2 38, mm -hmm. there's a teaching now That's right. that you got to stick with. That's right. There's a doctrine now yeah. that you got to continue in. Oh, yeah. There's a message now. Oh, yeah. Glory to God that you got to learn. That are connected to God better than you ever had been. That's right. Thanks be unto God since you've been born into this world. Okay. All right, Williams. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And, and his deadly wound was healed. Yeah. And all the world wondered after the beast. All the world wondered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon. Wait a minute. Amen. They worship the dragon. The dragon. Which gave they power. They worship. The devil. That's right. Which gave power. Unto the beast. Unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast. Wait a minute. Amen. They worshiped. And they worshiped the dragon. Satan. Which gave power unto the beast. And then they worshiped the beast. And they worshiped the beast. Who got his power and authority from the dragon. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now, mm -hmm. in order for you not to bow to the beast. You really, and I mean Hallelujah. really, got to be sound, yeah. steadfast, oh, yes. firm, Amen. strong, yeah. with God's word. That's right. That's, That's right. why I've been pleading with the human family the importance yeah. of getting this in you. Let the word of Christ it's dwell in you. This got to get in you. I don't care nothing about your jumping and shouting. Even if you do speak in tongues, that's all right. That's all right. This thing got to get in you. That's right. The Bible says what there? In the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16. It says what? Let the word of Christ dwell in you. What? Let the word of Christ dwell in you. Blessed be God. Amen. Dwell. Dwell. Dwell Amen. in you. Thank God until like me and Dan the man Stasiak and uh, Williams and uh, Deke and many others. We would mm -hmm. talk years ago. <clears throat> Hey Amen. How are we going to grow all together? Yeah. And, and it, it, it's encouraging to me yeah. when I see those still hanging with the word of God. That's Been right. around five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. That's right. Hey Amen. It's encouraging to me when yeah. I see those hanging around that was with me even when we came out of falsehood. Amen. All the way up to now. That's right. Hey Amen. When I left falsehood, Williams and my wife left with me the same day. Oh, yeah. Everything else was already gone, sitting home, scattered around, mm -hmm. visiting false churches. Amen. Amen. Sometimes they'll pop back up and say, do you know when you're going to leave? I said, I can't do nothing until God say so. Someone said, why would you wait? If I wait and see what God said, he will let me know what to do, how to do it, and where. That's right. I refuse to be a wanderer, That's right. be a vagabond. Yeah. Thank God for when God, hallelujah, hallelujah. the great God spoke to me that morning. Yeah. Come out. That's right. From among them. That's right. And be ye separate. That's right. Amen. I, I, I was reading for the preacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I read my last scripture, I uh, went upstairs, knocked on his door. I said, I'm leaving. He said, what? I said, I'm leaving. I'm going to do the work that I told you that God showed me. He said, wait a minute. God ain't showed you nothing. God ain't told you nothing. He said, it took me over 40 years to get what I have. Well, he didn't have nothing but two empty buildings. <laughs> if it take 40 years to get two empty containers, uh, that's, 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 that, that ought to alone tell you that God didn't send you. <laughs> he said, it took me over 40 years to get what I have. And he threw his finger in my face and said, you mean to tell me it took me over 40 years to get what I have? And you think you're going to have some churches all around the world, some 
big headquarters church and some broadcast and everybody gonna hear you? He said, do I look like a fool? I wouldn't answer that. <laughs> now, you have to know yeah. that God spoke to you. That's right. Huh? That's right. Before you go out, you have to know oh. the save the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And I knew it was heaven. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah to God. And when I came, and I, I, after he was done banging on the desk, laying me out, I was quiet. I would not disrespect him. After he said, nobody going to follow you, you will never amount to nothing, and the Lord didn't speak to you. <laughs> he said, well, where is this church at? That's supposed to start. I said, I don't know where I'm going to start. He threw his fingers in my face again. He said, you see there? God ain't never told nobody to go somewhere they didn't know where they was going. I said he told Abraham. Oh, Abraham. That's right. <laughs> the answer is always in the Bible. That's right. The Bible lets you know that Abraham journeyed and would it's not where he was going. He ain't have a clue where he was going. Mm -hmm. But he believed and trust God. Yeah. And when he see he couldn't persuade me, I left and uh, told my wife. I said, Daddy, I told you where. Yeah. I said, come on. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to get ready to start the work. Amen. That God told me, Daddy, Daddy, look at me. She said, we done here? Are we leaving? I said, yes, we're done. She said, Gino. I said, we're done. Amen. She said, oh, my God. <laughs> William said, well, went, 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 went. He was stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> stuttering then and still stuttering now. <clears throat> Amen. Yeah, like he was about to start rapping on the sidewalk. <laughs> he said, well, went, 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 went. Well, we... I said, Williams, I don't know where we're going to get started at. That's right. He said, what? I said, but I trust God. That's right. I said, so he walked with me, and I walked my wife home, walked, dropped her off, and we went on walking. Yeah. And uh, walking, and I began to tell him of this great work, remind him of it. Amen. Just telling him again, Amen. again. And then I had no idea we had started in the house. And that's, that's where right. we started, in the basement. That's right. And uh, I thank God for the day years ago we went back in the basement to show the public. Because now that particular message is on YouTube. That's right. Where we was in the basement. That's right. Amen. Amen. And there are thousands of people that logged on to that one message. Showing us in the basement, showing the public where God brought us from. I will never forget. Oh, no. Glory to God where God brought us from. That's right. If you forget where God brought you, you will lose focus on where God is taking you. That's right. All right, come on, Williams. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. That's what I want you to do, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. That's you right. have to get this thing in you. In you. So if, if you don't, when the beast come and you still alive, you're going to give over, give in. And remember, uh, we're going to get more of this. But mm. I want you to know that whoever takes the mark of the beast in their right hand or in their forehead, you cannot get it removed. That's right. Once you get it on, it ain't no, I'm sorry. And then God going to take it. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't read nowhere where they're going to get it removed. No. All right, let's go back to Revelation. Come on, son. Back at Revelation 13 and verse 4. Real quick. And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. They, and they worshiped, worshiped the, the dragon. Beast, uh -huh. Saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is like, wait a minute, who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. There was given to him a mouth. Speaking that's, the that's the mouth of the lion. That's right. Speaking great things. Great things. Thing and blasphemies and blaspheme and let us bear in mind mm -hmm. great things are being spoken now, now. blaspheme are being spoken now. Now. now and the world is going after it now that's right that's true are you getting what I'm telling you that's right the mark of the beast is not yet no but the influence yeah. of the spirit of the beast that's right. It's alive and well. Alive and, well. and it's functioning in religions all over the world. Mm -hmm. False prophet after false prophet sent by the devil, yeah. working for the devil, hiding behind the name of Jesus Christ to blind them that are simple Amen. and don't know God. That's right. 
All right. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. Yes. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. Wait a minute. Amen. Not only was it necessary for him to have be a great speaker. Great speaker. Power. But the devil know people want to see signs. That's true. And wonders. That's right. To convince people yeah. that this is legit. That's right. So power was be given to him. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. To continue 42 months, which is, about, which is about three and a half years. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. Wait a minute. He opened his mouth in blasphemy against who? Against God. And you don't read where he was afraid to do it. No. The reason why he wasn't afraid to do it, because the power of the devil was in him. That's right. And brother, when someone gets the devil in them, the devil make them bold. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. I mean the devil make them bold. They are cuss God. Amen. They are speak against the scriptures. Amen. Amen. Let me say this to all Bible readers. Amen. All of you. Yeah. You may read something in the Bible mm -hmm. and it sound like yeah. it contradict another part of the Bible. Yeah. Don't you speak evil or ill That's right. of the scriptures. That's right. I don't care what it sound like. I don't care what it appeared to be. That's right. Don't you ever speak ill and speak evil no. of the scriptures. That's right. Huh? That's right. Any time you speak evil of the scriptures, you are speaking against the intelligence of God. Amen. All right. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God. And to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell therein. And back up. Back up. Back up. Back in Revelation 13 and verse 6. Speak and against God. Blaspheme God. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God. Blaspheme against God. To, to blaspheme his name. All right, hold it. Mm -hmm. Blaspheme God. Right. And now it's blaspheme against his name. His name. That's right. Viewers, God's name is not God. No. God's name is not Lord. No. That ain't God's name. No. God is the title that the Lord has showing you how great right. and omnipotent he is. That's right. But God, which is the Lord, have a name. Have a name. That's right. Zechariah said, the Lord shall be king over all the earth. the earth. And then that day shall there be one Lord mm -hmm. and his name one. One. And the apostle Paul was on the road up the, to Damascus. Mm -hmm. And a light shined from heaven above the brightness, brightness of, of the sun. sun. That's right. And uh, he asked, who, who art, art thou, thou Lord? Lord? And the Lord and said, the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus, Jesus. who thine persecuted. So Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of God. Christ is the title of the Lord. Christ is the title of God. That's right. All right. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God. Uh -huh. To blaspheme his name. So be careful how you use the Lord's name. That's right. That's right. You ain't got no business getting mad and say, God so and so. No, no. No, no, no. No. When a man look at a woman switching down the street, he shouldn't call Jesus. No. He ain't seeking the Holy Ghost. He's seeking them hips. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Accustom not thy mouth to swearing. Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 23 and verse 9. What did it say? Accustom not thy accustom, mouth. Accustom. Amen. Don't let your mouth be so custom. A to what? Accustom not thy mouth to swearing. to swearing. Neither use thyself. Neither use yourself. To the naming of the Holy One. To the what? Ne neither use thyself to the naming of the Holy One. Don't use yourself to the naming of the Holy One. Don't just take the Lord's name and flaunt it around. That's right. That's right. That name is sacred. Amen. That name is above every name under the sun. That's right. That's right. Amen. If, I name, if my son was born, somebody asked me, Pastor Jennings, uh, in an email not that long ago. Uh, well, sister wrote me, I forgot what part of the country or out of the country. She said, uh, well, I want to know that uh, I, I, when, I have, when I have children, my husband tells me that my children's name got to come out the Bible. No, it don't. 
No, no it don't. Your children's name don't have to come out the Bible at all. <laughs> Not no. at all. I mean, no. you, you giving your children biblical names don't make your children holy. <laughs> you can give you, you, listen, you can name your child David. David still got that woman pregnant. That's right. That was not his wife. That's right. You can name your child Solomon. Solomon still heart turned away from God. Yeah. Amen. So give me your, listen, you can name your child Jesus. <laughs> but your child won't have the authority of the God of heaven. No way. There's a, that, that's a popular name in the Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And even in the Arabic speaking community where a lot of them is named Isa. Isa. Bless God, but no man wears that name No, <laughs> like God. Oh, no. Not a man under the sun right. wears the name of Jesus like God. No That's man right. do it. That's right. All right, let's go back to where you were. Come on back to Revelation quickly. Back, back in Revelation 13 and verse 6. Yes. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. And? To, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Yes. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. It was given unto him to make war with God's people. And to overcome them. Now, if you don't want to be overtaken, if you don't want to be overtaken, you better get the word of God in you. In you, that's right. You can jump around the church, shout around, you know. A lot of folks say, I like to go to churches where they run around. <laughs> oh, well, if you don't want to run that much, go find a park and find a track and just run around your neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. I don't care if you run around the church until you slip and fall and slide a thousand yards <laughs> until you get up with skin burn until it look like a tread mark is from your forehead to your toes. I don't care. <laughs> when you get up, you got a teaching to obey here. That's right. Uh -huh. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. It was given unto him to make war against God people. And to overcome them. And to overtake them. And power was given him over all kindred. Listen to this. Amen. Power, power was is given, given to the beast. Over all kindreds. And over all kindreds. And tongues. Tongues. And nations. Regardless of what nationality that you have or that you are, power is given to the beast from That's the right. devil. That's right. Uh -huh. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Wait a minute. Amen. If you don't get holiness in you, Amen. you're going to be worshiping the beast. That's right. Because remember, it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. That's right. And him only mm -hmm. shall thine serve. Thou serve. And if you don't repent of your sins and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the blessed Holy Ghost speaking in another tongue, right. the devil have you blaspheming now. Mm -hmm. It's three gods. That's blaspheme. That's right. Two gods. Two gods. That's blaspheme. Oh, yeah. Flesh and blood came from heaven. Blasphemed. That's right. Flesh and blood went to heaven. Blasphemed. That's right. That's there right. is no God. Mm. Blasphemed. That's right. Only white people going to be saved. Blasphemed. Amen. Heaven was only made for black folk. Blasphemed. <laughs> Jesus only died for people of color. Blasphemed. That's right. White folk is Jesus' closest friend. Blasphemed. <laughs> That's right. We are blasted all to hell. Amen. Amen. That's devil worship. Oh, yeah. That's devil belief. Oh, yeah. That's the worship of Satan. That's right. That's the worship that come out of hell. That's right. Thank God. And we come along with the hammer of the Bible, beating it, crushing it, and injuring it mm -hmm. back to hell. <laughs> that's right. Oh, thank God. That's what I'm determined to do. That's right. What did he say? And all that dwell upon the earth shall so worship him. God, all that dwell on the earth shall worship the beast. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. Now, right then, right that then. shows you. Mm -hmm. Them that will be worshiping the beast. That's right. Will not have eternal life with Jesus. That's right. Not at all. And all that dwell upon the earth shall the worship says, him. All that dwell on the earth shall worship him. Shall worship him. Whose names are not written Who in the book of life of the Lamb. Them are, them are the ones that won't be saved. That's right. All them that worship the beast are on their way to hell. That's right. All of them that will worship the beast mm -hmm. will not be saved. That's right. All of them that will worship the beast, and you, and you bear in mind, some of those that's in that number Amen. once was baptized. Yeah. Some of them that's going to be in that number oh. once would have had the whole. Holy Ghost. Some of them that been in that that's going to be in that number mm. once was in the truth, that's but right. they turned their back on God. That's you right. left God for some woman. Mm. You left God for some man. You left God for some money. Right. You left God for some position. That's right. That's right. Amen. You better get this. 
all and all that dwell you upon was the faithful earth. and dedicated to God when you was young. Yeah. Now you wait till you got to your sixties and seventies and eighties and become an old fool and turn your back on God. And now you became old and weak and spiritual, feeble. Now you bow to every piece mm. of trash that come in your church. That's right. That's right. Come on back to scripture. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, the whole world got to come on back to the book. That's right. All right, son, what did he say? And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. All that dwell on the earth shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. Who's on their way to hell. Slain from the foundation of the world. Yes. If any man have an ear. If any man have an ear. Let him hear. You better hear this. That's right. And he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Yes. He that killeth with, with the sword must be killed with the sword. And Here is the patience and faith of the saints. Well, here is the patience and faith. And here is the faith of the saints. Of the saints. And I beheld. You know, as a child of God, your patience is going to be tried. Oh, yeah. You got to be patient, patient and have faith before you get in the kingdom. That's right. Before we go back with God, your faith is going to be pushed to the limit. Oh, yeah. And your faith and uh, your patience is going to be pushed to the limit. That's right. Why? The sin is because of when a person's patience run out. They abandon that thing that they have patience toward. Yeah. When your patience run out for God, you're going to yeah. abandon him. That's right. When your faith run out That's on God, you're going to leave him. That's right. Are you listening? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Lord, that God here. Here. Is the patience. And faith of the and saints. And the belief. Amen. Of the church. That's right. Uh -huh. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. I beheld another beast come out there. And he had two horns like a lamb. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait a minute. Amen. He had two horns like what? And he had two horns like a lamb. That means he had the appearance of a sacrifice. He had the godly appearance. Hmm. He had two horns like, the, like a lamb. Like that means he had a godly appearance this was the spirit of hypocrisy Go ahead. come as a lamb to deceive the simple Go ahead. Uh -huh. and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth yeah and uh, it, uh, come like it's gonna be humble mm. uh -huh. and he had two horns, two horns like, like a, lamb. a lamb and he spake as a dragon wait a minute amen notice amen horns like a lamb like a lamb speech and, like what and he spake as a dragon what scripture groups all that together Having a form of godliness. Form. That's right. But That's deny right. the power thereof. Yeah. You have men up now. Yeah. Amen. Appear to be like a lamb representing the blood of Jesus. <laughs> the blood of Christ. But when it time to talk. Speak as a dragon. They speak like a dragon. They speak against the Bible. They, right. they fight speaking in tongue. and fight, fight baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Fight against Jesus Christ being God. Every fight against apostles now. Fight against music in the church. Fight against tithing. Just fight against everything, everything. that God said. That's right. That's right. When you hear a preacher say, I'm going to run the church the way I want to. Rest assured you, that's a false prophet standing <laughs> head of a false church. That's right. Because the church is not his. No. The church is the people. That's right. And the people belong to God. Yeah. And the people must be governed by God's word. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. Amen. So any preacher that come along yeah. and say, I'm going to run the church. Like I want to. You in a false church. Here, 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 church goer. I don't care if it's your pastor, if it's your husband, if it's your brother, if it's your sister. I don't care who you are. Anytime a so-called preacher says, we're going to run this church the way we want to. That's the devil. Amen. That's the devil out of hell within your bishop. That's right. The church is governed by the scripture and upon this rock I will Jesus build, said upon this rock I will build my church I will build my church my church and and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it amen the word of God governed the church that's right that's why nobody is allowed to get baptized any other way oh no but in the name of Jesus Christ that's right you can't jump up and say you got the Holy Ghost any other way Unless you spoke another tongue of the Spirit of God, give utterance. That's right. You can't give, you can't give the church more than one God. 
<laughs> you can't push nothing on a church that contradicts the word of God when that member of the church is sound. That's right. All right. Back in Revelation 13 and verse 11. Yes. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Uh -huh. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake. But he spake like a, like a dragon. As a dragon. Yes. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast. Wait a minute. Hmm. He exercised all the power, all the power of the first beast, of the first beast before him. All the power. You got two beasts. That's right. But you know what they had in common? One spirit. That's right. Why two beasts? Because these two beasts is a form of two ungodly witnesses yeah. that establish God's purpose That's and right. God's will. Mm. Uh -huh. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. Yes. And causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to, to worship the first beast. Yeah, wait a minute. Hmm. The second beast come along That's right. and motivate the people and to, to the worship earth. the first beast. That's right. You know one thing about false prophets, they work together. Yeah. Now what does this show you, human family? Yeah. There's unity <laughs> among the wicked. That's right. That's you didn't right. see that, did you? No. There's unity among the wicked. That's right. Any time the second beast, second beast. can cause. Mm -hmm. to ca what did it say there? And causes the earth. Cause the whole earth. And them that dwell and therein. And them that are in it. To worship the first beast. The second beast caused the whole earth to worship the first the beast. The first beast. Hey Amen. Let you know I'm right with you. Yeah. We're going to band together. Yep. We all going to get together to blaspheme. That's right. And we want everybody to blaspheme and believe what we believe. That's right. The lies that we have. Yeah. You know, I thank God. God knows I do. Mm -hmm. To be sound, sound in this thing. Yeah, that's wonderful. Amen. Amen. I'm not getting sound. I am sound. Wonderful. In this way of holiness. Wonderful. Until I don't care what come out. If the devil can send smoke signals <laughs> like an Indian <laughs> and send them up to heaven, <laughs> I'm going to stick to what the word of God says. That's right. Anytime. That's right. Anybody and anything can root you up from the word of God yeah. and shift, shift. your belief. And even make you start considering, yes. even if you didn't adopt that belief, but just begin yes. to consider and yes. rethink yes. the yes. way of God yes. and just to invite the way of Satan. Yeah. You're not sound. That's right. You're not sound. If he continue in the faith. You're not sound. Yeah. I don't even consider the teachings of the devil. That's right. When they contradict the Bible, I don't even consider it. That's right. That's right. Like when that bishop talked to me about taking over his churches, mm -hmm. only if I accept divorce and remarry, mm -hmm. I didn't even consider. Mm -hmm. I didn't say, well, you know what? Let me get his churches first, and then let me worry about converting him later. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. No, because then I would have got the churches on false pretense. That's right. That's right. And then he would go out. And mud, mud my name. Yeah. You see, Pastor Jenner, he, he, you see that? He took the churches and he, he said that divorce and remarried is all right. And listen, I can't even begin to tell you how many preachers I turned away who wanted to give us their churches mm -hmm. if I would accept the divorce and remarry. I had one bishop told me, he said, if you stand for marriage and re -divorce, marriage and divorce, yeah. he went as far as saying, he said, the world would change. <laughs> I looked at him and said, what? He said, you don't know how influential you are. He said, the world will change. I said, I, I said well, let the world stay where it is. Let the world stay right where it is. Because, right. of God. listen, I, I leave the changing up to God. Amen. 
You ain't going to get me to stand for no false teaching no. and build up again the things that God destroy. made me destroy yeah. and make me a transgressor. Not here. Oh, no. And not here. Oh, no. But I guarantee you there are those who's not sound in the truth. And if I would lie and say God gave me a revelation, divorce is all right. Even some that's right in the truth of God will get up and start going in the tongue. la 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 Somebody may break out. Yes, You'll see some brothers even behind the chair. That's You'll right. You'll see some sisters doing a shuffle shuffle. Why? Right. Not sound. That's right. Not sound. That's right. If he continue in the faith. This thing got to be in you so that regardless of what minister you're familiar with, in the truth of God, when they deviate, you stop. That's right. You stop. That's right. I don't care how long you work with him, how much you love him, when he deviate, stop. Amen. Amen. That's right. I know you have to take That's God. right. You stop. Oh, yes. I don't care who you are. Mm -mm. Amen. Amen. Well, my blood brother got up and deviated from the word. I, I tied into him like it was a gang war. <laughs> Amen. Jumped on him with all the scriptures I can think of and beat him down. Amen. Beat him down. I told him, you better not even make an attempt to justify yourself. And he tried to justify himself, and then I, and then I, got, a, I got so many scriptures. Hoom, 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 hoom. <laughs> Amen. First, I had one, one scripture on him, one scripture. Just one. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> got a 22. <laughs> it, it was hitting him, but then he tried to justify himself. I said, say what? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't care who you are. That's right. Jesus is coming. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. Hallelujah. Amen. These are the last days. Oh, yeah. We're in the last hour. That's right. Hallelujah. Over Hallelujah. God and the church got to be steadfast. That's right. That's right. There's a message is not over there for entertainment. When Dan would make his announcements, he would tell them, this, this program is not over the air for entertainment, and it's not. That's right. We lay in that Bible like a termite in wood. That's right. Why? We understand the consequences of deviation. Yeah, that's right. Satan got put out of heaven. Why? Deviation. Oh, yeah. Until war broke out in broke heaven. Out. So I don't care who the brother is, who you are, where you come from. When it comes to the word of God, we're going to hold it. If a man come in with 50 churches, and try to bring another doctrine. I talk to you, I talk to you, I talk to you, I talk with you. Yeah. But I'm not going to keep going back and forth mm -hmm. until the word of God advised me and said after the first and second admonition, reject. 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 That's written. That's right. I believe in the book of Titus, That's right. if I'm not mistaken. It says after the first and second admonition, yeah. reject. I, I don't care how good friends me and Williams is. Yeah. If that brother try to bring a teaching and I sit and talk with him and he still want to hold on to that stuff and want to divert back to his old Trinitarian ways. My Lord. I'm going to reject them. But avoid foolish questions. The Bible says. In the book of Titus chapter 3, we're at verse 9. Avoid. Avoid foolish questions. Foolish questions. And genealogies. And genealogies. And contentions. And contentions. And strivings and about the law. Strivings about the law. For they are unprofitable and they vain. They don't mean nothing. A man that is an heretic. A man that's a heretic. After the first. After the first. And second admonition. And second admonition. Reject. Reject them. Knowing that he that is such. He that is such. Is subverted. Is subverted and sinneth. 
and what? And sinneth. And he sins. Being condemned of himself. He's condemned of his own self. That's right. Amen. That's we right. will not change to accommodate nobody. God's oh. word rules here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks be unto God. Go back to Revelation, son. The clock is ticking. This is good. Come on. Back in Revelation 13 and at verse 12. All right. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. Yes. And causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast. Yes. Whose deadly wound was healed. Uh -huh. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth. Look at it. Amen. Devil make fire come down from heaven on the earth. In that the, way, that way, when the people see that, they mm -hmm. think it's the great power of God. That's right. Uh -huh. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in, in the sight of men. Yes. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth. You by see the that? Amen. The whole objective is to trick them. That's right. Uh -huh. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Wait a minute. Trick them how? By the means of those miracles. These preachers are doing the same thing same now. Thing. That's right. Like I, uh, the teleclass we did some <laughs> weeks ago, the man with the growing hands. <laughs> That's right. The woman with the growing foot. <laughs> That's right. Pretend like you're being healed. All people getting a long line and some fella just slap his hands on you. And you fall to the floor, the other slap his hand, and you fall to the floor, as I said before, so sad now again. Mm -hmm. If the Lord is knocking you out, you don't need nobody to catch you. No. Amen. If the Lord, let the Lord put you down on that floor and let the Lord get you back up. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Somebody said, well, Pastor Dennis, uh, how's the Lord going to get me up? When you get tired of laying there long enough, you will bend those legs and use those arms and climb back up in your chair. Amen. Amen. You don't need you don't need an anointing to get up. All you need is common sense to get up. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. I mean, I want to make it so plain a fool can comprehend what I'm talking. Amen. All right. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Yes. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Yes. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. Now, not only are they going to wish up the beast during this time, mm -hmm. but now they're going to... Make the beast is encouraging the world to Amen. idolize him. That's right. Make, an, Make an idol. Make an image to the beast. Make an image to the beast. Pay homage. That's right. You pay homage to the beast mm. by making an idol. Amen. Showing that uh, it, it's your God now. Right. You right. serve it now. That's right. You worship it now. That's right. And you bear in mind that this beast represents all the wickedness and the materialism of this world. Amen. And Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. Yes. Which had the wound by a, by a sword and did live. Yes. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Wait a minute. After you make the image. Amen. Now the devil got power to give the image life. Like, mm-hmm. And that's the way people are now. That's right. Uh, the, 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 kernel, the kernel things in this world is life to them. Yeah. They feel as though they can't do without it. I mean, mm -hmm. if, in other words, they value it more than God. That's right. They look at the materialistic things more than God. That's right. There are some folk was faithful until they got a car. Mm -hmm. They drove by the church. <laughs> a lot of folk got the heart. I met folks that came to me, Pastor Jennings. All, right, all this work that God is blessing you to do, I wish I was a millionaire. If I was a millionaire, I'd give you millions to <laughs> buy all the churches and build all the churches you want. Amen. Well, they have the heart, but they don't have the money. That's right. There are some people, when they get the money, mm -hmm. they don't have the heart. Right. And then there are some people, if they get the money, their heart don't change. There are some people, money don't change everybody. That's right. But there's some people, God forbid, if some member in the family died. <laughs> family members that used to be together on family reunion. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When, uh, when Grandpa Gray died, God help him. Oh, yeah. Amen. Sons, daughters, old folk fighting each other over what he left. Even if he left a little lot, <laughs> the lot is only big enough to put a garage on. That's right. Family stop speaking, killing right. each other, yeah. and hang up and get, lay each other out on Facebook and cussing. That's right. All over materialism like a fool. That's right. That's why the Bible said the love of money is the root or the source or the foundation of all evil. All evil. And, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should, should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. 
Wait a minute. Amen. If during this time, if they don't wish up the idol that's mm. made by the people, Amen. by the influence of Satan, if they don't do it, what'll happen? And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You better get on God's side. That's right. That's right. You better get on God's side Amen. now. Amen. Oh, take God, you better hear this warning, human family. Yeah. All right. And it causeth all, both small and great. Look at it. I don't Amen. care who you are, what color your skin, the amount of money you have, yeah. the amount of money you don't have. The Bible says he calls everybody oh. small and great and great, rich, rich and poor and poor, free and bond, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand. What? To receive a mark in their right hand. You get the mark of the beast in your right hand or in their forehead or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell. I see how money is tied in. That's right. No man might buy might or buy sell. Or sell. Save he that had the mark. He that have the mark. Or the, the, pros the prosperity message that's right. that is in the earth today is a prelude yeah. to the mark of the beast to come. Amen. Because the devil done sent his preachers out already to program you mentally right. and program you spiritually right. and program you emotionally right. with the lie yeah. that in order to be saved you got to give all your money to the preacher right or in order to get a blessing from god your blessing is evaluated based upon the size billfold you give god that's a lie that's a lie that's a lie. That's right. That's right. It takes money for things to function. Yeah. But money ain't going to save you. Oh, no. Takes money to pay the bills. Oh, no. Takes money to buy churches. Amen. Takes money for the telecast to keep running. Yeah. But that stuff ain't going to save you. That's right. Anytime you tell the people that uh, if for you to be saved, mm. and, they, and they always say, God love a cheerful giver. And they narrow that down to giving money. Yeah. You want to be a cheerful giver? Why don't you repent of your sins? That's Why right. don't you give repentance? That's be right. cheerful about repenting. Why don't you do that, Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Cheerful Giver? <laughs> repent cheerfully. Amen. Repent cheerfully. Then we got some cheerful water, cheerful water to baptize you in. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you'll receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you'll take on a cheerful spirit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't That's care right. how much money you give. Yeah. You are go to hell, you and your money too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't follow what God gave his apostles to hell, you and your rich preachers going. That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says here? Yeah. And he causeth all both small and I want and to great. listen how the word of God itemized those whom the devil's going to trick. He calls all, all both small, small and, great. and great, rich. Rich and poor. I told you your wealth don't matter to the devil. That's right. Your wealth don't matter to the devil. The devil will deceive you. The devil will trick you. That's the right. devil will damn you. Sell on your yacht. That's, yeah. that's all right. Enjoy it now. You can Listen, you can catch a whale if you like. Your, your, your fishing gear is so strong, you catch whales on the side of your boat. Oh, Amen. Lord. All the fish of the sea, the moment you get in your boat, congregate <laughs> and gather around and just look at you. Blowing their mouth together. That don't matter. <laughs> don't Thank matter. God. <laughs> Amen. Thank right. God when the smoke clear. Brother, yeah. if you accept this mark, do you hear this? And he calls us all. He calls everybody. Both small, small and, great. and great. Rich and poor. Rich and poor. Free and bond. Free and bond. To receive a mark to in their right the hand. receive the mark in their right hand. Or in their foreheads. And in their forehead. Why in the hand or mm -hmm. the forehead? Mm -hmm. If you get the head... That I, I, I got your thoughts control. That's right. Getting the hand represent I got control of your deeds. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Get it in the head. Yeah. I got your mind. Mm -hmm. Get it on the hand. I can control the function of your body. That's right. Why? To buy and sell, you need the usage of your hand and mm -hmm. the usage of your mind. That's and right. I'm going to have both under my influence. Mm -hmm. He's going to have both of them under the power of the devil, under the influence of the beast itself. Amen. Eh? And that no man might buy or sell. No man. No man might buy might or, buy or sell. sell. Save he that had the mark. Save the one. Save he that had the mark. That had the mark. Or the name of the beast. Or the name of the beast. Or the is, number of the, his which name. Which is the name of blasphemy. That's right. 
Or the number? Or the number of his name. Uh -huh. Here is wisdom. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the Let number of the beast. Let him that understand count the number of the beast. For it is the number of It a, is the number of what? For it is the number of a man. I told you. It's the number of a man. And his number is 600. Man, that man would take on the full characteristics and the full authority and the full function of that devil himself. That's, That's right. what the devil going to give him his power. That's right. Give him his power. Him. That's right. Someone said, well, can't the man reject it? The nature of the carnal mind is they love power. Yeah. The carnal mind love power and the carnal mind love authority and the carnal mind love wealth. That's right. Listen. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. You understand, you count the number of the beast. For it is the number, is the of, number a man. of a man. And his number is 600. Three score and six. Six hundred and sixty-six. And I looked. And I looked. And lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. Look at Amen. When I looked, I saw a lamb on Mount Zion. And with him in a hundred and forty and four thousand. What do you mean? I saw my Savior. That's right. I saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. Appeared as a lamb. That's right. What you mean he appeared as a lamb? Showing the world, I'm, I, I died for you. Yep. I died for you. Amen. Amen. A lamb represents how he sacrificed himself when he walked here on earth. That's right. And what? And with them in 140 and 4,000. Wait a minute. Now, those that was with them was 144,000. Mm -hmm. That 144,000 was the direct descendants of Abraham. That's right. You better give me the 10th chapter of the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. The 144,000 was those that directly ascended, descended from Abraham according to the flesh. To the we flesh. are Abraham's seed according to faith. But then you got the children of Israel, which right. are Abraham's seed according to the flesh. That's right. Amen. And you had each... Uh, tribe, bless God, was sealed 12,000. 12, In the book of Revelation chapter 7 and at verse 4. You better uh, read quick. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. I heard the number of them that were sealed. And they were sealed in 144,000. 144,000. Of all the tribes of the all children of Israel. All the tribes of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Read on. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Read on. Of the tribe of Nephilim was sealed 12,000. Yeah. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Yeah. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulun was sealed 12,000. Yeah. Of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. After this I beheld and lo a great multitude. A great multitude. Which no man could number. That's the church. That's right. Huh? That's right. So you got the church, and then you got 144,000, which are the direct descendants out of Abraham. That's right. Uh -huh. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, uh -huh. of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, yes. stood before the throne. Stood before the throne. And before the Lamb. And before the Lamb. Clothed with white robes. Clothed in white robes. And palms in their hands. Palm. There wasn't no Palm Sunday. Palms in their hands. No, it wasn't no palms, Sunday. Palms no. represent that you got victory over a thing. That's right. Uh -huh. And cried with a loud voice. Saying what? Saying salvation to our God. Salvation to our G-O-D-S. Salvation to our G-O-D. Oh, only got one. That's right. Salvation comes from one. Salvation. Uh -huh. To our God. Yes. Which sitteth upon the throne. Which sitteth upon the throne. And unto the Lamb. And unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts. And All right, that's enough of that. Amen. Let's finish up where we are. Uh, back in Revelation 13 at verse 18. Yes. Here is wisdom. Here is wisdom. Let, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. What is it? For it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. That's the end of that? That's the end of that. All right. All right. <laughs> Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he, he fills this program up on his website. Points the people to the truth of God.